There's a lot of stuff kind of about touring, like a, doing a tour. Um, that you don't see. A lot of people ask me if it gets old being on the road all the time, you know, and it's like, no, because it's always an adventure and there's always somebody that it's their first time going on the road and you get to relive it all through them, you know, like they're all wide-eyed and excited and seeing spots for the first time. It's, it's rad, dude, and that feeling never goes away, dude. Even stuff I can't skate anymore. We're driving around, I'm like, Joe, do you see that, that double kinked hubba? There's no way in hell I'm gonna jump on a double king hubba, but I'm still like, ah, like, where's it at? Like, you know, like, there's a spot there. Like, even though I'm not gonna skate it, but it's the vibe in the whole band. Everybody's got that energy, you know, and it's, and it's addicting. Motherfucker. You know, people come and see us at a, a signing or a demo or they'll see the video or whatever, but that's like an eighth of what you get, like of the actual reality of it all. For me, the, the tour started like three months ago. Do we have a budget for this? Like, do we have a budget for that? What shops can we get? You know, like where are we headed? You know, I've been in the van for over half of my entire life. And Caswell too. Nearly all of Caswell's life has been in, in a van or a bus or a train or a plane. So it's pretty rad to see these young guys and it's their first real US tour and, and have Caswell there. And Caswell's like the veteran. And he's like giving them all these life hacks, you know? And it's like, they're not good life hacks for sure. No, I haven't really skated with these guys that much to be honest. You can come over here, don't be afraid. Can I come over here? Don't be shy guy. Gotta get in here real quick. Yeah. I don't, I, I have only spent like, just a handful of times with them, like, so we're still figuring it out, I guess. Hey, I got you covered, so just give me a dollar or something. Oh, what'd you do? Yeah. Say two? Oh, really? You can do it, Gus! Number one fan! Right after the crazy. Oh, Eli, you can't do that. One more, let him do it one more. They broke the mold when they made Gus. I paid a thing. First day out, I think we we're somewhere and there was a line for the bathroom, so he just peed his pants. When it hit me, it just started going, and then I ran to the bathroom, someone was in there, I was like, fuck. Had to run outside, and by that time, I was just like, dude. Gus is one of those dudes who just has that infectious energy, you know? Whatever Gus is doing, you're just magnetized to it, you know? And you want to be part of it, you know? And it's like, sometimes it's the Gus show, you know? And he's just, he's not even skating, but he's like the center of attention, you know? Like, somebody else could be trying a trick, but Gus is over here doing Gus. Oh my God. Gus is just always stoked and like, just happy to be there. And is like, kind of the wild card and just always having a good time. Aquatic turtles, because I have two of them at home. Like everything's new to them, you know? Like, oh, we're going to Kentucky. Oh, I've never been to Kentucky. Oh, we're going to Ohio. Oh, I've never been to Ohio. Like, oh, this is where the Pittsburgh Penguins play. Oh, what? Oh, whoa. You get to see him probably smiling, just like skating and smiling at the same time, which is kind of a, I don't know, that's like cute, I guess. I don't, I've never seen anybody really just like skating around with a smile on their face. like. I wonder what the hell is going on in his head. Uh, it's probably a wild ride in there. You just want the best for him, you know? And he's like, you know, he's just like so genuine about everything, you know? Oh yeah. Oh, got an extra little dot. Yeah, what, pleasure to meet you, man. <laughs> yeah, he was sunscreen. So the tour is called the High Wire Tour, and basically it's uh, it's all built around this wire spot that Michael Paluzzi skated, and Mike's one of the new guys on Enjoy, and we wanted to kind of showcase that because 
it's such a random obstacle and the fact that Mike's kind of the, the dude who could do it, it's kind of one of those things where it was like, let's try and replicate one and bring it on tour. We built it originally and I took it to Sacramento and had Mike try it because I wasn't even sure if it was even possible. You know, like when you're building something like that, it's not like a flat bar where you're like, oh yeah, it's got to be a foot tall and it's perfect. Like I had no idea how high to build it or how tight the wire needs to be. So I built it with like a turnbuckle so we could tighten it if we needed to. And, uh, and I took it up to Sacramento and uh, we bolted it into this slab spot and Mike rolled up to it and did it first try. Like absolutely like nailed it. And it was like, dang, all right, we did good. This is gonna work. So yeah, I, I hope that like with the tour, what it really does is it opens kids' eyes to like a new, a new terrain, something that they probably never thought of was possible. Hell yeah. Thank you. What's your guys' favorite skater? <laughs> Michael is the fucking silent killer mini-game champion. Michael? Michael is a pole dancer. Uh, he dances on poles. And apparently if he gets paid, then he's, he's pole dancing for money. So... <laughs> You know, we took Mike on a couple trips just as like, it's Mike, he's the homie, he's coming along on the trip. And this is the first trip where it's like Michael Paluzzi on Enjoy. And like when you're the homie on the trip, you kind of just are going along with whatever spots everybody skates. You don't want to step on anyone's toes. And, and it's really rad to see like Michael Paluzzi on Enjoy, Michael. You know, he's like got the tricks he wants. He knows the spots he wants to do them at. You know, he's looking at spot books and he's like, this is the spot I want to go to, you know? And it makes my job way easier, you know? When, when a dude knows where they want to go. Fuck, thank God that one just worked. You made that shit look easy. Fucking, how many clips is that today? Yeah! Hey, when you're on the road, there's shenanigans happening all over, you know? Like, you don't know what's around the corner. <laughs> one minute it could be some oh. crusty skate spot, and the next minute it's like the scooter show, you know? The drunk scooter guy show. Who knows what's gonna happen? When Deeds is on his skateboard, it is magic. It's, it literally like makes everybody else sit down. Like, I don't know if you've noticed that, but when Deeds is skating, pretty much everybody else is just like, either in awe of what he's trying or just enamored by like how cool he looks doing it. You know, you're not really expecting him to do certain stuff and then he'll do it and you're like, oh fuck man, okay. Oh, you just made my job like a little bit harder. Like I wanted to try this and you did that and it's, it's tough, it's hard to keep up, man. Deeds is one of those dudes, he's very professional. Like he knows when it's time to go film. He knows when it's time to shoot a photo. Like if it's time for a demo, he's doing the demo. When it's time for the poster signing, he's sitting right there, ready to do the poster signing. This isn't the first time I've seen him do this either, which is fuck. You can find Deeds at any Whole Foods in the produce department because he's going to be grabbing uh, an avocado.
He's a little bit of a bully, but he, it's a fun bully. He likes to pick on me and pretend he's gonna kick me in my nuts or like, like teabagging me when I'm laying on the ground or uh, he'll kick my soccer ball on the roof. Uh, but then he's a sweetheart and he goes and gets it. Uh, and he did all of those today. Every single one of those today, so. <laughs> You know, I'd been to Ohio and uh, Pennsylvania before, so I knew what we were getting into spots-wise, but when we were driving and we heard that Muska's ranch was only like an hour out of our way, it was kind of like, wow, this is the one. This, this is the adventure on this tour. I mean, it was like halfway through the trip, you know, and everybody's already beat up and tired, and it was like, I don't know, maybe we can go see Muska, maybe it's not gonna happen, and then as soon as he called back, you know, it was like, the van vibes were high again, you know? Holy fuck, dude. Get to work, kid! What up, crew, dude? Skaters don't come here very often. He's totally not done, like, working on it, but you could see the same passion, like, and drive as skaters that, like, He's that passionate and he's that driven about his farm now. It's called going bro uh, broody. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah, and they just get, dude, she's like yeah. fixated. She was like, yeah. I'm fucking hatching these eggs. Yeah. Like, cause that's the, the she's the mama hen. She had hatched peacocks, all kinds of shit. Like uh, she would hatch any egg. Hoping to score an egg if you don't mind. Take one. Yeah, we got one. one in there. Um, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's all still warm. Oh God. You're gonna eat it like that? <laughs> and to see that side of it for me was like really really awesome to see like like he's channeled he's focused on this so i'm going like a hybrid of like future and past kind of so i'm gonna like go to self-sustainable as much as possible like that's the water collector that that's a sister and that collects all the rainwater um and then from that i water all the crops feed the chickens with the rainwater. and then obviously to see all the kids and like you know, Chad Muska is like a god. And then we left there and dudes like Tony, I think was like, dude, I don't think I could be any more stoked for the rest of my life. You know, and it's like, that's, that's so rad. I could only hope someday, 20 years from now, dudes are on tour and they're like, we're gonna go to Tony Latham's ranch. You don't have to have an answer yet. What? I'm like so confused. Like, isn't there only like really four different wall No. No, no, no. Backside, front side, switch backside, switch front side, Wally Nolly, fakey Wally Nolly, or fakey Wally. Uh, the 270s both ways, regular and switch. Rat spins. <laughs> Tony, like he is just like a joy to be around and he's like the most positive dude and just funny and like every stop he's like buying like little trinkets and like things to remember and it's just like, I don't know, it's just important and it's cool to see. Hey, I mean the Wright brothers didn't figure it out overnight. Oh, it's because I'm up with it. Yeah, you know, dude, I'm so fucking... Oh! 
If I get any sexy waters, would anyone drink them? I'm down. Tony doing tricks is only half the Tony story, you know? Like he's doing lines to get to a single trick, you know? Or, or he's hopping around over here. It's like, it's so funny because it's like there's like a whole process of skateboarding to get to where the dude is with the camera, you know? And it's like, for me, it's like, oh my God, you're spending so much energy doing all this other stuff. Like, but for him, he has like a unlimited tank of energy. We are at Castle Bam, god damn it. The, the hardogram used to be on that door. He used to park the Lambo probably right around here. Like, I'm gonna just ride this high till forever. Viva la Bam, dude. I just remember it like when I was a kid and like how meaningful it was like when someone showed up to my small town like that's like the whole reason I'm here you know what I mean like if it wasn't for those moments like I wouldn't be sitting here right now at all. I guess because I saw Rodney Mullen on early enjoy trips like and the way he interacted with kids you know I, I noticed that like kids didn't want to have Rodney tell them a story kids wanted to tell them their Rodney story, you know? It's the same thing for me. If I meet somebody that I looked up to or, or that I thought was really rad, I always, you just, it's natural. You wanna tell them why you think they're rad. They, you know when kids come up to me and they tell me their stories about like either like old enjoy videos or tilt mode videos and, and what that meant to them. And Everyone who skates there, at least where I skated, was just like mad. And I saw you guys do like, like happy dudes who were just skating and it was like fun. And you, I loved how you guys looked at things and it like completely got me back into skating. And just like, this is just like legendary. And I appreciate it, and it, it is very humbling. Oh my gosh, I got, I got your fucking mod build deck hanging yes. up in my house. It's like the best night of my fucking month, man. Oh, hey, me too. Uh, trying to spell my name right. As you'd be surprised how often you can spell your name wrong. Excellent. Thank you. I've been sitting on these for a few years. That's awesome, man. Thank you for bringing them in. It's cool to see. I met Caswell, I think it was like the second time ever meeting a pro. He did like a signing, like it was right after Bag of Suck came out. I was like a huge Caswell fan. Like dude, I remember having him sign everything I own. I used to have a hard time when I was younger with it, with when, with dudes and people that would come up and say like, I watched your part or, you know, this or that, or they'd bring like an ad out of a magazine. And that's just, that was just me being, I don't know, awkward and maybe just anxious and, and now, just seeing people like bringing stuff like that. What's happening, man? I keep the sport in the wall. Holy shit, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. Wow. I just look up the window and I'm like, what? That's no awesome. way. Look at this fucking thing. It actually does like, it makes me like stop and think like, fuck, okay, I mean, I made an impact on somebody. And uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Like at the end of the day, I'm not taking home anything physical from that, but I'm taking home like, Something that kind of makes me, you know, just keep going a little bit more. It makes me stop and think like, you know, fuck, this, this is the reason why I do it. Sick, man. I appreciate you coming out and sharing that. Yeah, man. Thanks for signing. Fuck, that hey, that's so, so cool. easy to do. Yeah. You made yeah. my fucking day, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. Absolutely. It's fucking wonderful meeting yeah. you, dude. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Thank you. It's just music. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to listen to? Power violence.
Ryan's really an enigma to me. Ryan, Ryan dances to the beat of his own drum. He's got a very distinctive personality and uh, a very distinctive way of looking at skateboarding, you know, and, and life in general, you know, and, and it's rad to see him meshing in the van with dudes who have totally clashing personalities, you know, and, and clashing styles and somehow like all works together, you know. He's really good at manuals, and that's a tough thing to be good at. I, you'd never catch me just like trying to skate a manual pad for fun. Cause that's something I lose more hair than I even have, so. He has such a unique vision of what he wants to look like skateboarding, and like it's very like, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to be. Pretty rad to see somebody who's that driven, you know? So yeah, this trip we decided to bring Andrea. She's a flow um, rider from Spain. And uh, we just decided to throw her in the van. Like that's the best way to do it. You know, uh, I, don't, I don't mean it as a sink or swim, but it's kind of a, uh, like, can you hang? Andrea's fucking awesome. We met her in Copenhagen for the first time. Like she just fit in off the bat. And I think is like the most important part of Enjoy. It's your personality. Like no one on Enjoy doesn't fit in the van. She's nailing it. Her and Gus are like two peas in a pod, you know? And it's like, everybody's all pumped. Like, she starts trying to trick and everybody's getting stoked. And so it's, the meshing is starting, you know? And it's like, yeah, like, she does fit in the van, you know? And it's, it's, it's a huge relief when you're like, on a one-on-one -on -one level, you skate with people and you're like, this person's rad, this dude's awesome, or this girl rips and she's fun to hang out with. But you don't know how the dynamic's gonna be in a van, like, Everybody could hold their shit together for like two or three days, you know, but like being in the van for a week, pretty soon you're getting fucking frustrated with like if Casuals just making fart jokes, you know, like so it's it's cool to see people who could like take all that and not it doesn't bother them, you know. Hey, hey. Morning sunshine. <laughs> Still in Australia time. I think it's like seven. Enjoy is one of those really unique things where everybody's so uh, so tight, you know? We're so used to like hanging out together all the time. So it's been, the pandemic and stuff has been so bizarre, you know? Like like Jackson, I haven't seen Jackson for three years. Kill me. <laughs> Let's go hit the, pe the pedal bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's really rad to, to like have the, the Jackson dynamic in the van again, you know? Oh, if Jackson wasn't here, we wouldn't have nicknames for every dude who's showing us around or, or nicknames for other filmers, you know? Like, I don't want no trouble anymore. Jackson, he's really, 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 really good. And uh, it's not that I forget, but you know, like just seeing him on Instagram or something, and like seeing stuff that he films, like it always blows my mind, but when you see it in person or you see his consistency or something, it's like, it's out of this world kind of for me. And he's like, he's a big guy and you wouldn't expect him to like be so like nimble, if that's, I don't know, that's a word you can use, but he's, he's like, yeah, he's nimble, I don't know. I wish I could skate like a 10th of what he can do and skate like, but you know, that's the, the beauty of skateboarding is not, you know, everyone's not the same. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A rivet from my jeans. Oh my God. A rivet from my jeans is stuck in my leg. Shit. Yeah, the lens is scratched. Can you see it? Yeah.
You tried to feeble the rail. Hey. You're on another level. Give this guy a race. Just make sure they know I've never had a shaved head in my entire life. I think everybody knows that now. Okay. Those guys kind of like mentor the younger guys. You know what I mean? You can't put this in there, but Louie's been my favorite skater since I was a kid. But, um, to, wait, what was your question? I think it's really a cool experience from the guys to learn from him. You know, Louie's had a pro shoe. Louie's been pro for so long. If you listen to him, that dude's got a lot of wisdom. So like, if you listen to him, he's been around, you know, the block a few times, so. Louie is like the brand manager, but he is a, a, a skater too, you know? He's, he's in the trenches with the guys skating. A lot, of, a lot of brand managers aren't pro skaters. You know what I mean? He does a really good job of like handling business and having a great time. He's just like so easy to go skate with and go hang out with. It's not like a, nothing feels too forced or too serious. Ah. It's like definitely <laughs> good to have someone like that where you're just like, you can just go hang out and it's like if, you, if you're skating, you're doing your thing and you get a clip or whatever, but if not, you're just fucking dicking around. I can't emphasize enough on how hard that dude works. He goes so and above and beyond on what he has to do as like quote unquote a job. I mean, I'll be texting that dude about shit at fucking midnight, you know, like during the week. It's like he doesn't stop thinking about enjoy. How can we do this? This is cool, let's implement this into this. I just, I kind of want to get you like where your foot's on this. This hand maybe in the back pocket or something so you could still see the enjoy label. Yeah. And then either like with, with the SIG or not. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. Okay. Awesome, dude, I think we nailed it. Thank you, dude. And it is, it's cause like he fucking loves it. Like he really loves enjoy and everything that we're doing. It's really inspirational to like meet other people that care that much. Caswell, you know, like I've traveled with him a ton. Follow his life. It's cool to have like the young kids and then like a dude like Caswell that's like a veteran. I don't even need help getting hurt. I mean, dude, honestly, I think I've been traveling with Caswell for 19 years, dude. Caswell's like super funny. <laughs> Fucking. To have him still in the van, still cracking jokes. <laughs> Walmart's a trip, man. People are fucked up in there, I tell you what. <laughs> Sorry. His bag gets lost on the trip and like he's not an asshole and he's not being a jerk to people. He just like makes fun of his bag being gone. Um, yeah, it's lost. It's, it's, at the, it's at the airport. I think that's kind of cool that he's not like, oh, this sucks, why me? For the other guys to see that kind of stuff, it, it's cool just to be like, all right, take everything with a grain of salt and you know, just enjoy your time. Like, these guys like to have fun on the road. They're not like, skate, 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 like do crazy tricks. They do skate and they do good tricks, but it's, it's just a different, um, just a different mentality. You know what I mean? Louis kicking us out. We were kicked out. Yeah, we were kicked out. Come on, let's go. It's like herding cats. What we do means so much to me, you know? It's, it's for all these dudes. It's for skateboarders. It's it's for it's for all skateboarders to see that you could just be a group of friends and have fun and and it be this rad time in your life, you know. And I'm thankful that it's been a long time for my life, you know. It's what gets me out of bed in the mornings, you know. It's it's what puts me behind the wheel at. 9.30 at night going, all right, dudes, I'm driving us to Philly. It's gonna be four and a half hours. You know, I'd rather be in the back of the van drinking too, but it's doing all the hard work so that these dudes can have an adventure. You know, that's what Enjoy means to me now. I wasn't from a town where skateboarding was cool and like Enjoy, like the whole vibe of Vegas Suck and how they dress. Like I remember just watching it as a kid and like not getting it and just being like, why are these dudes like all dressed like my uncle? Those dudes were just being them and doing them and weren't taking it that seriously. Like not that they weren't like working hard, but like they were just like, they were being themselves. And I think that's what really made it cool to me when I was a kid. It doesn't have to be 
straight and narrow, you know, like there's not rules to how you are supposed to make your company look. And just because everyone's doing this doesn't mean you need to be doing this. Like the enjoy team is the enjoy team. It's like fun personalities and stuff like that. It's not about the dude that's kick flipping the biggest set of stairs or the dude with, you know, that's dressed the best or, you know, like these are just people you like being around. Like, and that's what skateboarding is. Like, you skated with your friends as a kid because you like being around them. You didn't skate with those dudes because they were like the best dude. Like, that dude was probably a fucking asshole. I've been riding for Enjoy for, I don't know, 20 years or something. And, uh, I mean, I don't see myself going anywhere else. And I, I think that's probably like a testament to, uh, like, just enjoy as a brand or whatever. Um, and I don't know, I love it. And uh, I mean, things never stay the same and you can't expect them to, but it's, you know, it's, it's gonna be moving to and fro. And uh, I don't know, it's cool, you know? It's different and it's cool. And uh, I don't know, I miss Ben. Bye. If I must. I'll come back out. <clears throat> I didn't mind skating demos before. Like, I'd be a little nervous, but I felt, you know, this was before like any injuries, before anything happened. So I didn't really, I could just show up and skate and not really worry about it. But I'm now, I'm, since I haven't done a demo in years, I couldn't even tell you the last time. Should I take you take us into the bathroom and whiz, or should I yeah, yeah. should I wait till afterwards? Go, go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> I'm obviously a bit older and uh, a bit more broken. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I don't even know if it's like me doing anything is worth it. So I just try to do whatever the hell I can do, and some one person claps. I guess it's cool, you know. <laughs> Oh, Way to go, Josh. How much stuff are you bringing on this trip, dude? Come on. Yeah.